Hi, my name is Carrie, and today I'll be discussing how to mount the thermometer in your sample space. Many customers decide to remount their sample on a custom sample mount or mount a user thermometer. There are two important factors that you need to take into consideration when you do this. The first is that the thermometer has a good thermal contact with the surface it's being mounted to. And then secondly, it's important to thermally lag the wire properly to ensure that the thermometer is reading correctly. The standard sample mount is mounted in one of two ways. It's either mounted with a clamp on the side holding the thermometer down to the side of the sample mount, or it's mounted internal to the sample mount through a hole. I'll first discuss mounting the thermometer inside the sample mount. So the typical Cernox thermometers come already mounted to this mount. To mount it inside the sample mount, you'll just need to add a little bit of grease to this structure. You'll notice that the thermometer is already put onto the mount with VGE, and we just need to add some end grease to this part. We'll add a small amount of end grease to the structure of the thermometer. and then we'll put the thermometer inside. Now that we've put end grease on the thermometer mount and mounted the thermometer inside of the sample mount, um, I'm going to thermally lag the thermometer wire. So what I've done is I've wrapped the thermometer wire tightly around between the intersection of the sample mount and the bullet. So it wraps all the way around and then down, and then I've secured the wire with Kapton tape. So now I'm gonna apply VGE so that the wire stays in place right where the wire meets the intersection, and then right at the other side, so in two places. And you wanna make sure that the wire is touching the metal and that it's not having contact with the metal through the VGE. So there in that one place, and then directly on the other side, like that. So in those two places. And then to set the VGE, you can put this whole assembly into an oven at 60 degrees Celsius for about 10 minutes and then cool, cool it after it comes out. So now I'll go over how to mount a sample mount with a clamp. So to remove this from a platform or to really remove a thermometer that's stuck down with VGE, you can just apply some acetone. So acetone will break down the VGE so you'll remove the thermometer from the platform and then you'll just have a standard thermometer. So on a standard sample mount, you use this clamp bracket and a small M2 thread and there's thread holes on two sides of the sample mount so you can decide which side you can mount your thermometer. So the screw goes in here and in this case, VGE does not need to be applied to the bottom of the thermometer since the clamp is really going to be the mechanism that holds the thermometer in place. So all you have to do is apply a little bit of end grease to the bottom of the thermometer. So then you stick the thermometer underneath the clamp with just the end grease. You don't want to tighten down this M2 screw too tightly. Um, otherwise, that'll deform the bottom of the thermometer and it'll go like this and you'll have bad thermal contact and it won't read the temperature. And again, the same as when the thermometer goes through the sample mount, you tightly wrap the wire around the sample mount and then you glue in two places and that is how you'll thermally lag your thermometer. So now this is ready to be mounted inside the sample space. So here's an example of a custom sample mount. Um, it also has the option to put a thermometer through um, mounted in the platform. But if you want to put a user thermometer or another thermometer and mount it flat, um, you can also choose to do this. In this case, you won't want to use just end grease on the bottom of the thermometer because there will be no clamp to hold it down. So you'll want to put a little bit of VGE. 
It's important to use the least amount of VGE as possible so you get good thermal contact with the surface. So putting a little bit of VGE with a little bit of acetone to thin the VGE is a good idea. So once you've done that and clamped it down, it could be a little bit hard to um, get this in place. Um, with the VGE on it, so we recommend taping it or tying it with floss. Um, so once that's down, you'll want to put about a half an inch of lagging here. So it's easy if you have a flat surface because you can take the VGE and just run it along the surface. Okay. So here I've mounted the sample with VGE, and then you'll want to lag it by adding VGE for about a half inch. And you want to make sure that that wire is contacting the metal surface of your sample. So then either you can tie this down or tape it down, and then you'll put that in the oven at 60 degrees Celsius for about 10 minutes, and then it'll set, and you'll be ready to cool it down. So you can use these techniques to mount a thermometer to any unique sample mount. Um, just make sure all the surfaces are clean, clean them first with acetone, and make sure you lag it. Um, so those are the important parts to make sure that you have good thermal contact between the thermometer and the surface, and also to make sure that you thermally lag the wire of the thermometer. You can tell how well you mounted your thermometer by putting the sample mount within your chamber and cooling it down. In most systems, you should have a temperature gradient between the platform and the sample of 0.2 Kelvin or less. Please let us know if you have questions about mounting your user or sample thermometer. At Montana Instruments, we'd be happy to help.